sweatpants on we're ready to film <laughs> welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well today i didn't really know what to film until i found this paper and this paper was in my closet and it used to be hung on the wall once i wanted to clean my apartment hung it off and then i just found it today and it says six daily golden rules for happiness and health and i just wanted to share with you what i wrote on this paper the reason why i wrote this paper was first of all it was last year and it was summer of last year i felt that i was off track with my health and even my happiness i wasn't like fulfilled yeah i was doing things that really what weren't driving me i felt that my health was also um targeted by what what i was eating the lack of activity that i was having and i really learned that health is well first of all super important but also it's so easy to get off track if you don't have really simple rules to follow it takes basic things to get your health and your happiness in the right way and those in my opinion those six daily golden rules are the six pillars that you can establish in your daily life that will have such a big impact on your health and your happiness intro done <laughs> let's dive in <laughs> also sorry if the light is flickering i had to set my camera on the lower shutter because it's super dark right now in paris and just wanted to film this right now so <laughs> all right rule number one include 15 minutes minimum of meditation or a meditative activity daily to decrease your stress this is something i talked about already in my wish list of 2020 is to stress less obviously easy said <laughs> hardly done but yeah including a meditative activity an activity where you can think of something else than your daily struggles and you can let your mind wander in like positive things or daydream i think it's so important to just shut your mind it's kind of a shower for your brain it refreshes your ideas you're allowed to have no responsibilities in those like 15 minutes frame and I just find it so beneficial so yeah that's one thing that i would absolutely recommend to do daily the second thing is stay active and move 30 minutes daily workout bike dance yoga la 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 yeah <laughs> definitely i mean an activity is so good for your physical health it releases a lot of hormones of happiness and like endorphins I don't even need to tell you that exercising is healthy, right? <laughs> it is healthy. But what I wanted to focus on right now is the fact that it doesn't have to be a workout every day. It can be anything that's active. So for me, like most days I don't even work out, but I keep fit and I keep healthy because I walk a lot in the city and I take the bike almost every time I commute to places, which is at least an hour a day of biking and when I mean an hour a day, I'm not like biking super slow, I'm like going for my life. So taking the stairs, you can be dancing when you're hearing a song that like lights you on. <laughs> you all know I love this. But yeah, this is this is like part of every day. Every day you, you should you should be active, unless you're injured, of course, or sick. Third thing is eat nourishing food, at least two without any distractions, and stay hydrated. Yeah, obviously it seems super basic, but again, all these things are really basic, but I think they're just so fundamental. And if you have them right, then everything else will flow. But foods that are high in calories and little in nutrients are not healthy food. So transformed food, processed foods, animal products, most of them. And yeah, nourishing foods are just like plants, fruits, vegetables, grains, seeds things that are nourishing that will bring you a lot of energy calories but also a lot of nutrients vitamin minerals fiber etc and at least two without distraction i think it's super important to also take the time to cook your food and appreciate your food when you're eating and not being distracted on your phone because then your body doesn't even understand that you're eating and then it can cause like disconnection with with the food you're eating but also it can cause hormonal disbalance you don't really know when you're hungry anymore you don't know when to stop when to start and your balance get off track not good <laughs> so the fourth point maybe is not something that you will apply because i wrote it because this helps me keep 
in track with my life purpose, which I found a couple of years ago, and I'm super excited about um, about the fact that I <laughs> finally found what was my life about, what was my goal, my purpose in life, why I why I was there basically. I know it can get a bit too spiritual for some people, but I do believe we all have a purpose and we all should find our purpose. And my purpose, it's hard to say, <laughs> is to help people. I think that it's a purpose for a lot of people, but this is my purpose. Help people, the environment, the animals. What I wrote for this is spread healthy living love everywhere. Everything must be done with patience and a grateful heart or just don't do it at all. Give back and help others daily and live by example. Yeah, I think I'm super lucky in the position that I am, that I live where I live in Paris, that I can do whatever I want to do, that I can eat whatever I want to eat. I mean, money-wise, like I'm super grateful, but also the friends that I have, the family that I have, the opportunities that I have, there's so much I can be grateful for. And it's okay that some days I don't feel as grateful as others. It's okay that some days I feel like crap and I feel like complaining, but I think to be really happy and healthy, I shouldn't complain about my job and my friends and my family. Like I can think it for myself, I can keep it to myself, but I don't want to spread hate. That's basically all that says. If I'm gonna spread something, it's better be positive, it's better be like something that's gonna help people. Or if I'm in a bad mood, if I'm in a bad day, I sh just shouldn't share anything. Yeah, I'm still learning on this. I don't really know if that makes sense. The fifth point is talk to my fam and friends, check up and open up. It's also really a struggle and I don't know why it's a struggle for me to, first of all, open up and like tell like what's up and if I have like issues or if I'm like happy and proud of myself like I don't really talk to people about it although I'm like trying to get better I don't know like communication is really hard for me but also like all my friends and I were so busy in Paris that we literally have to take like make appointments to see each other this is how bad it is I wish I would be better at just check up on them like daily hey what's up how was your day friends are so important people are so important so important to have good people around you people that will support you and it's important that to support your people as well so this is definitely a rule for happiness and health and the last rule is <laughs> very like practical but it is no phone rule past 10 30 p.m take a book if you can't then sleep so yeah i mean i don't have anything else to add i think phones are just too present in our lives i'm on my phone all the time i really 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 can be away from my phone when i'm in bed and i would even add like no phone no phone in the morning as i wake up this will just improve my clarity and makes me less stressed, less solicited by things that I see. And yeah, those were my rules. I hope that was interesting. I don't know if you learned a few things that, or if you agree with all these six daily golden rules that I think are the most important rules to be healthy and happy. I know that happiness is not always a choice. Um, I don't wanna say that if you apply this, you'll be happy because I've been in a place in my life where I was in depression and no matter what I was like trying to do the things that I used to do I I literally like did not like living anymore and yeah I know that if you're in a place where you're in depression this will not help you this you can apply if you're just like unhealthy or if you're not healthy route or path or if you're like struggling to find inspiration again but if you're really like sick which is nothing to be ashamed of but please seek seek advice from pro professional um, you can apply this this is not going to kill you if you apply this but this is not like the cure of your depression just wanted to mention this don't want to end on a sad note so i hope you enjoyed this video in 2020 i have this goal of becoming a youtuber by the end of the year so <laughs> I hope I have your support. I want to do one video every week. So let me know what video you want to see. And I also have a French channel. If you want to learn French, then you can watch my French videos. I also like to talk about similar things on there. 
Um, sometimes they're the same videos exactly and sometimes they're different. So yeah, I hope to see you super soon on my channel. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful evening. And don't forget to subscribe as well and like this video. <laughs> Bye.